Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotion. It is Wednesday, April 7th. As always, I thank those of you that have been so committed to these daily devotions. Uh, <clears throat> it was always something that was a big part of my life. Ever since I've been working with youth, I've always encouraged them to to spend time with uh, with God on a, on a daily basis. We used to call it a quiet time, to your time alone with uh, with God. Um, <coughs> so I appreciate those of you that have stayed committed to these. Morning, Marcy. Morning, Veronica. Uh, we're in Matthew chapter 14. Uh, I'm going to read something, and we're going to talk about something important this morning. It says, immediately, uh, this is right after he fed the 5,000 people. It said, immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side. While he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Wow. When evening came, he was there alone. Interesting that Jesus went up to the mountainside to pray by himself. Go on, Anna. Um, there are numerous scriptures, numerous scriptures of Jesus praying. Remember in the garden before he before his crucifixion? He prayed all night long, and he asked his disciples to pray with him, but they kept falling asleep. Uh, well, Jesus prayed all night long. Uh, he spent much time uh, praying. It, it only stands to reason that if Jesus did it, that we probably should be doing it also. Uh, in fact, his disciples witnessed him praying so much that they asked Jesus, Jesus, to teach us how to pray. And that's when Jesus taught them the, the Lord's Prayer, our Father. Uh, and, and as a result, as a result of Jesus' teaching, and when he left, l listen to what it says about the disciples. It says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, and to the fellowship, and to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. So the, the, the fall, the early, the early church, the early believers, devoted themselves to prayer. Why? Because they... The disciples had devoted themselves to prayer. Why did they devote themselves to prayer? Because Jesus had devoted himself to prayer. That's why we, we also should be devoted to prayer. Now, I know that some of you probably have the gift of, of faith or the gift of prayer. It's a gift that God has given you. You just, prayer comes naturally to you, very naturally. It isn't that case with everyone. It's kind of like the, the, some of you have the gift of evangelism. God has given me a gift of evangelism where I find it easy to share my faith with others. I find it easy to share the gospel, the good news about Jesus, because it's a spiritual gift God gave me that isn't true with, all, with many other Christians. No, <clears throat> God did not give me that gift of faith, the gift of prayer. It does not come natural to me. I have to work at that. I do not have to work at sharing my faith, but I sure have to work at, 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 at prayer. It, it's, it's, it's not my gift. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't pray. Just because we don't have the gift doesn't mean we don't pray. Just like if you don't have the gift of evangelism, now evangelism is simply where you share the gospel, the good news about Jesus. Uh, if Just because you don't have that gift doesn't mean you're not supposed to share the, your, your faith, the good news about Jesus. We're all called to do that. So just because we have, don't have the gift of faith doesn't mean we don't pray. We're all called to pray. In fact, the early church, they devoted themselves to prayer. Devoted. That means it was, it was constant. It was constant. Uh, so I guess the question is, how should we pray? How do, is there a certain way to pray? I used to ask that question all the time. And then until I got explained to me that prayer is simply talking to God. It is simply talking to God. It's, it, which means you can do it anywhere, anytime. It, it should be a, a, a constant thing. But listen to hear what Jesus says. When all, the, when all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened. Now here's Jesus in with a bunch of other people that are being baptized by John the Baptist. And as he's watching these other people being baptized, he's praying. And then, and then he is baptized. And then God uses that time to send the Holy Spirit upon him. So Jesus is 
more than likely in a crowd of people praying. We, pr prayer is simply talking to God. You, it's something we should be doing all day long. You, you make decisions all day. All day long, you make decisions. As a result of making those decisions, you should be talking to God, to, talking to God praying to God. I know, I know people that you know, may be extreme, and it seemed extreme to me at the time. But, but the more I think of it, the, the the more I tend to agree. They would go into a supermarket, and before they even went shopping, they would pray to ask God to give them direction on what food they should buy and what food they shouldn't buy. No, when I first heard that, this woman say, "Tell me that." I'll, I'll be honest with you; it was kind of like what. Praying to what food to buy? How silly! But then at the same time, shh, why not ask God for direction? How many times have you got in to buy food, especially when you're hungry, and you come home with stuff that you shouldn't have bought, things that you shouldn't? Have bought. So it's it's literally talking to God all day long. Um, however, however, I believe this. I still believe that we should have a set time that we dedicate just to God. A set time in the day where you dedicate that time to God. It's his time and nothing should interfere. Uh, I've set aside, I'll share with you, I've set aside every morning when I come into this office, before I do anything, before I do anything, I kneel down and I spend my time with Jesus, with God. It's my, it's my quiet time. It's my set aside time for God. And I don't let anything interfere with it. If a phone rings, I don't answer it. If I get a text, I don't look at it. Uh, that's my time with God. It's set aside. And I and I kneel. I kneel to pay homage to him. Now, when you're when you're spending your day, you don't have to kneel. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you have to kneel to pray. But when you're, you have that personal time with God, his time that you've dedicated to, I think it's it's I think it's great to kneel down, and pay homage to him. Uh, so, so I, I I encourage each of you, if you don't have it, if you don't have have a, a set time. Too too many people say, well, yeah, I'm going to pray during the day, but if you don't have a set time, it's so easy to forget it. So I know some people that their set time is when they get up in the morning. They get up in the morning, they kneel next to their bed. Some people when they go to bed at night, they kneel down next to their bed. So it doesn't make any difference where it is, when it is, as long as it's, I believe, as long as it's a set time that you've dedicated to God. We say, God, you, you're important enough to me that I, this is your time. This is your time. And nobody's going to take this time away from you. I, that's honoring God. So I hope, hope that each of you have that, that time. Uh, but, but then talk to God all day long. Have, a, have general conversations with, with God. Uh, the, the, the encouraging part about all this is God promises that he listens to our prayers. God promises that he listens to our prayers. Now, many times as, I, as I'm praying, I sit there and I think this. As I, as I, th I think, well, wow, this humongous God, this infinite God, this God that created everything, that spoke everything into existence, is right now listening to my prayers. That's humbling. That's humbling to, to think that the almighty God is taking time to listen to my prayers. And then, of course, he's an omnipotent God where he's everywhere at one time so he can listen to everyone's prayers. He's capable of listening to everyone's prayers at the same time. But the fact that he's listening to my prayer is humbling. The fact that he's answering my prayer according to his will is humbling. Extremely humbling. God takes time for you. You need to take time for God. Have that, that personal time where it's just you and God that you've dedicated to him. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't always have this all my life. I always said, I'm going to pray to God and I say, yeah, when I get to bed, I'm going to pray and then you're so tired, you fall asleep or you're right in the middle of prayer and you fall asleep or you say, I'm, I'm going to pray when I get up and then you forget to, to do it. 
But if you have a set time, like with me, I come in my office every morning to do my da my daily devotions. Uh, so when I come into this office, I immediately kneel down at the chair and spend my time with God. Find that time, will you? God deserves it, and you need it. And God is willing to listen to you. Amen? Hey, thank you for, for listening to my devotion this morning. I hope it meant something to you. Share it if it means something to you. Uh, tonight is uh, our second youth group, uh, Crash Youth Group at 7. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow morning again at 8 o'clock. Have a great day, everyone. God bless you all.